Finally, the last play we're going to look at, coming back to the reversal play, and let me show you how the indicators can help you here. The percent B is going to show us divergence. Again, you hear me talk about this all the time because it's such a great uh, signal. It's going to show us divergence and it's going to clarify some of the reversals. And then what's going to happen with the bandwidth is it's going to have the bulges, of course, that help clarify the end of the trend, which is going to be the first part of the reversal. So let's look at some pictures here. If you look at, again, this uh, U.S. dollar against the Canadian dollar trade, we were in a nice little swing, a really, really nice swing, uh, several hundred pips worth of value that we got out of this. And then look at the top of the move, bandwidth starts to turn down, you've got the divergence happening with your percent B. That is a perfect signal telling you, yep, we've run out of steam. Um, this is what the reversal signal is really all about. This is the two signals coming together. You see this um, as a trend trade that's turning into the reversal. And typically they happen like this. A lot of times you'll have the, the squeeze, turns into a trend trade, turns into a reversal. So you kind of have three phases of the trade uh, that are really the three signals of the Bollingers. And so this is exactly what you're seeing here. We had not quite a full squeeze on the far left here, but a pretty tight move moved into that trend trade. Now here's the reversal. Now watch what's happening in here. You're seeing the bandwidth lead the way. The reversal picture itself is this M pattern or the double top that's starting to come in on the back side. In this case, the divergence was the first indication, the bandwidth was the second, and then the actual reversal formation started to happen uh, you know, several trading sessions later. So if you were waiting for the reversal itself, you would have been way behind what the indications were telling you with the bandwidth and with the percent B. Very good indications for helping show you the end of that swing. It really helps time the exit of the moves. Uh, take another look over here at a couple of moves. Uh, this one happened on American Express. Again, the exact same scenario. I'm going to draw out the reversal first. There's your M pattern. Here's your bandwidth, which actually turned down early, way early in the, uh, the pattern. And then here's your, your divergence that was happening uh, between the moves themselves. And so again, the, the indications, the percent B led the way, giving you the first divergence signal, the bandwidth led the way giving you the contraction of the bands and then finally you got the full reversal signal that the uh, the Bollinger Bands are kind of known to provide for you. Uh, let's take a look at a bullish version of this pushed way outside the band and then here is that little W pattern that starts to occur. Bandwidth had preceded that very quickly here, not by a huge percentage, but by a couple trading days. And from a divergent standpoint, you started to get it, but it was not as clear uh, because it, it had surged so quickly and we didn't have nice cycles in there. If you have a, more of a trend trade, you'll see the cycles usually. But this one, you really got the divergence exactly in line with the reversal itself. So that did not help you quite as much from a forecasting standpoint, but it was still a very valuable signal to get. The point here is to show you how the percent B divergences will show up with reversal trade and how the bandwidth will start to contract or will turn down during the reversal play, which is oftentimes a precursor. Sometimes it happens exactly with the reversal, but in either case, however it happens, it's a very good confirmation that this trade is running out of steam and maybe you need to at least tighten your stops, if not completely get out of the trade and save whatever capital you've got there.